everybody from the icy tundras of southern Manitoba. It's cold out. It's about minus 20 Celsius right now. Last night it got down to minus 45 with the wind chill. I made the decision to bring Old Blue to my shop. Save at least one cold night from well, when it gets down to that cold, you don't shut your truck off for night, right? You're not gonna start it in the morning then, so you'd have to idle it. So I brought it to my shop so I can shut it off for night. And that's exactly why I have that for nights like this. I'm so close by already, it was only 15 minutes out of my way. And it worked out great. So now I'm just going down the road. About another 15, 20 minutes this way, we'll be in St. Malo, Manitoba. And uh, we'll get this freight off my trailer that we picked up at that gravel pit in Minnesota yesterday. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, you can go back in my playlists and find yesterday's video. I have uh, several playlists on my main channel for you. here where we're gonna unload oh yeah see he gets all these trucks in here all the time even bigger than me but where am I gonna go which way which way I can't go that way no room that way so I guess I'll go this way for now I'm probably back in there I'm thinking just 
straighten myself out here and then we'll back up. Beautiful place in here. Don't get stuck, Trucker Josh. Don't get stuck. Don't hit anything, Trucker Josh. Gremlins in my head won't stop talking to me. Ah, we made it. Okay, good. I'm just gonna park right here beside this trailer for now and then go and find the guy and then he can tell me where he actually wants me and then I will maneuver myself at that time. Love this property in here, totally hidden away from the highway. Driven past here countless times throughout my life, never knew it was here. Okay, so now people can get around me while I'm waiting here, while I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Regular glasses on while I'm working. Save these ones. They're very expensive. <laughs> Prescription. Put these ones on, which are also expensive. Prescription. But at least this way I can uh, see what I'm doing a little better while I'm unloading. Ah, oh, hey, with the jacket, it's gonna be cold. I don't want to work. I want to go home and drink hot chocolate. Ugh. Life, right? Life. Okay. Okay, come on. A lip roll up here. Roll up and turn the heat on in here. Oh, I don't need it that high. Thanks. I had a full blast. I did a good temperature in here because while I'm unloading, I'm going to shut the truck off and then I turn my engine warmer on so it keeps the fluids warm in my engine and I turn the bunk heater on so it keeps the interior warm, but then I don't have to idle the truck while I'm working. It's about minus 20 right now, so as long as it's not like more than six hours or something, uh, I'll be fine. If it's down like minus 45, I wouldn't shut it off at all. Do what I can, you know? This is gonna be so much fun. I'm so glad this isn't like a very like detailed load. Pretty straightforward. I'll take my securement off and uh, go from there. <sighs> what? The e-log know that I am here at the shipper. Okay. Let's go figure out where he wants us. Well, I've got all my equipment off. I'm gonna use two front end loaders. Just unload me. One's grabbing the front and one's grabbing the back of it. And then I'm gonna drive out from underneath it. I thought they might grab one from this side, but they're gonna grab both from that side. That should work, as long as they can lift it off my deck, then uh, I can just roll forward nice and slow, and they'll set it down on the ground over there. Then we'll sign some paperwork, and I'll be out of here. I got all my equipment off of there. They're just gonna hook up that last chain. And we'll be on the way. These gloves are great for cold weather. Vigo again, not Nat or anything, but I really like their gloves. Uh, they're felt or lined on the inside. They say they're only good to like plus five Celsius, but what I do is I have like multiple pairs. I have one pair on the dash here, keeping warm. Got one pair here, got one pair here, got like another four down there. What I do is I rotate them while I'm working. They have this rubber lining around it, 
which keeps all moisture out so my hands never get wet but they can still breathe so they don't sweat now they do get cold down in minus 20 minus 30 your hands will get cold in here eventually unless you keep moving you got to keep moving keep your blood pumping but if your hands do get cold what you do is you come into the truck here you take the cold ones off put them on the dash let them warm up on the defrost a little bit grab the warm ones that you have on the defrost you slip them on now you got warm gloves and you go continue working and you keep rotating them like that i have thicker gloves that are good for colder weather but they're really hard to work with they're very hard to move your fingers and grab stuff this rubber stuff on here it not only keeps the water off your hands it also uh it also gives you very good grip when you're grabbing things. Really nice. This is what I use through the winter. I found them on Amazon. You can just look up Vigo Winter Gloves. These will pop up. They come in all kinds of different colors. I got the black ones. I was looking for the blue ones, but they were sold out. I wanted the blue ones. But they got blue ones, red ones, gray ones, black ones. I figured if I couldn't have the blue, I'll have the black. They hide dirt a little better and they don't look dirty so quickly, you know. I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> They're pretty cheap, pretty good price too. You know, the, the actual winter gloves are way more expensive. I'll show you them too. I have them up here. I have so many gloves for this winter, like I am set. Uh, these are the gloves that I wear, uh, that I bought that are more for colder weather. They're Vigo as well. They got the, the protection for your hands. These work really well. They're just a little harder to get on and off. The other ones are easier to slip on and off. And these are lined as well. And my summer gloves are exactly like this except without the lining on the inside. I believe I got some here as well. Uh, I'd like to show you them. I uh, got my shoes on so I can't really leave my driver area here. I don't want to get my truck all dirty. I've also got these gloves from Vigo as well, which are supposed to be good down to minus 20. I don't like them though, because again, they're hard to get on and off and the lining wants to come out with your hand when you take the glove off. It's very annoying. Where are my, my other gloves? One sec here. They come in packs like this, see? This is for summertime. This is the ones without the lining that I was showing you. And I've also got these leather ones. These are the most expensive gloves I have, but uh, they're very warm. They got the protection on your hand here so you don't crush your hand. All leather. The only thing is that these seams wear out a little fast and then water gets in there anyway. But they are very good. Same brand again. They're ready for me to drive forward now. I could be a glove salesman. signed I'm out of here I just got a message I think I might have a new load offer here let's see let's see what do you got for me there load gods it's a load assignment Kenora taking up on the 8th tomorrow going to Brainerd all right we know what we're doing tomorrow so I guess today I'm going home 
empty trailer behind me a new load assignment but that's tomorrow's worry today we're gonna bring this trailer back bring those tarps back that uh, aren't mine on the back of the trailer there and uh, Maybe grab a different trailer if I can. I'm gonna try to grab a step deck. Oh, there's a deer right here. There's a bunch of deer right here. Look at this. Two of them. Right here. You see them? Check it out. Right there. I see you. What's up, bud? Huh. There you go. A little treat for you. Some wildlife. I'm gonna see if I can grab a step deck for tomorrow. I, I just, I'd rather have a step if I have a choice, but we'll see what they got available there at the yard and then get ready for tomorrow. Figure out when I need to be there by. Go grab that load. St. Malo here is a French town, a French Métis town. Métis uh, is a word that means that they're half indigenous, half French European. And they came from Quebec and settled here in Manitoba uh, around about the 1700s, I believe, 16, 1700s. Before we got here anyways, us, the Dutch and the, the Germans, we came in 1874, yeah. We actually landed up the river just a little bit, a uh, little uh, ways away from here. And they're along the river here, right? Because back in the 1600s, there were no roads here, so the only way of transportation was the rivers. So they settled along the rivers. When we came in 1874, we had steam-powered vehicles already and brought all our technology over from Europe. And we settled inland between the rivers. And uh, I'm descended from that, from those pioneers. This land was all, other than right here, this area was settled, but inland was all wild swamp land, eh? No one wanted it. The indigenous didn't want it. The British government didn't want it. The French didn't want it. They, they deemed it unusable because it was just swamp, right? And then you brought in the Dutch and some Northwestern Germans and you know, you know if you're gonna drain any swamps, if you're gonna have to deal with a lot of water, you know who to call. You call the Dutch and the Northwestern Germans there. They know how to deal with water. So they brought us in and now it's, uh, it's all settled. It's all nice farmland. And then along came me. In between, my mom and dad's families uh, actually left Canada for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna have to, this is... Dad's family went to Paraguay, where he was born. And mom's family went to Mexico, where she was born. And then we all ended up coming back here to Canada. Thank you. Is there enough room in there for a semi? I think so. What's interesting though is that my dad and my mom being born in Mexico and Paraguay, they were considered Canadians born abroad. It wasn't the same as it is uh, nowadays where it's, uh, you know, wherever you're born, that's where you're a citizen of. Back then, if you were born abroad, you're still a Canadian. 
I thought this lot was bigger. I don't think I'm gonna stay here. I wanted to park here and go inside, but I, I feel like I'll be in the way if I stay here. But now I feel guilty just driving through their lot. Okay, well, I'll go find a better spot to park. All right, just dropped off those tarps in the tarp shed there. <coughs> Excuse me. Drop my paperwork off in the office. I'm going to go see if I can find a step deck. I'm going to grab one of those so that I can go pick up uh, that lumber load tomorrow on a step instead of a flat. I see a flat right here. It's a pretty dirty one, but we'll see if there's a cleaner one. If not, I'm going to grab this one right here. Oh man, that thing's dirty. Oh, there's one over there too. Back in my messy shop. One of these days I'm going to have a chance to clean this up. This mattress has got to go to the dump. I want to, uh, I want to make the video on that Odyssey mattress this weekend. I want to tell you all about that. You're going to like that. We did that as fast as we could. But you can always tell it's cold in here because this neon light around my Chevy clock doesn't glow as bright. The colder it gets, if it gets really cold in here, it'll totally just, it'll just shut off that yellow ring. That's how I know it's pretty cold. Another way to tell is just to look at the thermometer. It was 58 degrees in here Fahrenheit. And now it's about 48. So we lost 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Couldn't go any faster. I mean, you open the door, you rip the pickup out of here, you rip old blue in here, you shut the door. Now you just gotta wait for the heaters to catch up. There's floor heat in here, which does the majority of the heating. It'll bring it up to about 55 Fahrenheit in here. And then I have a space heater back here and the majority of my heat which comes from this uh 240 volt heater over here that'll bring the temperature in here up to about between 58 and 60 fahrenheit i can turn it hotter if i want but i think that's a pretty good temperature already all right we're not cleaning out old blue or anything today we're going back to work tomorrow so we're just taking what we need to take home home and uh, we'll be back here in the morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Every one of those things, if you do them for me every single video, it really helps me out. And I know you've been doing that because we've been growing like crazy this last month. And the more comments I get, the more likes I get, the more views I get, the more YouTube recommends it to new people. So we've got a whole bunch of new people in here again. Welcome to you guys. Leave me a comment thumbs up and let's see how big we can get this channel tomorrow old blue and i will be going to kenora if you want to catch up with some old trucker josh i've been doing this for about 11 years uh, i've been uh, you might call me a youtube veteran maybe not but uh you make that decision for yourself go to my main page go to my playlists and you'll find playlists all the way back to like 2011 See you tomorrow.
Mm-hmm.